G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is an anti-armor Gatling gun with bullets exploding for area damage and plus 50 damage resistance whilst aiming. See, we've also got bullet shields, so once we're shooting this thing and aiming, we should become quite tanky. And that is um, not mentioning the power armor that I'll definitely be wearing for... Um, armor penetration benefit and also accuracy synergize as well with that anti-armor prefix and bullets exploding for area damage means we get more damage per bullet pretty good lineup of legendary effects for this getting 103 speed receiver as always this is the standard sort of uh loadout i've got for this i don't like that big old mag on it i mean it makes it a little bit heavier but you don't need it so you know to conserve a little bit of weight we might as well just take that off let's go ahead and uh chuck on some perks of course um we've seen all this before so i'll quickly chuck on all of the heavy gunner perks that i have at my disposal which is just nine and of course as an explosive weapon it gets boosted from the demo expert and there's even bloody mess over here you can put that on for more damage and now we're doing 209 which is um on par with the bladed gun because ain't no blade being activated and yeah we're not fully i mean we could make it a little bit faster with the, or a little bit better sorry with ballistic block but i don't have the resources to keep making that stuff maybe when we get mod support i can just you know console command it and to really push these things but i feel like with damage like that you know without all of the um, arm penetration benefits actually being shown to us right now we'll be doing just fine all right let's get into it Alrighty, time to kick this off with a little bit of science, meaning testing with hypotheses and all of that. So I've got a bloodied Gatling gun, and I've also got anti-armor one, so we're just going to shoot the uh, crab here, and uh, we'll see how much we do with the bloodied, then we'll switch over to the anti-armor and see if our damage output has improved. Uh, let's not go sneak attack criticals. So I saw 159. No... No um, energy damage on that. Okay, 308. That's not bad. 153. That was on the leg. No, I don't want to power up Thunder Mountain. Also, I need to do a stim pack now because Bloodied is just going to lack how I've hurt myself. 239 with the headshot. There we go. So, 239 versus 308 with... Um, yeah, so you do get some good benefits out of that in terms of damage output. Let's quickly put him out of his misery. Yay, science, and also crushing communists at the same time. What more could an American want? Alrighty, so here I am outside of the mutant's place and going over my buffs just quickly. Yep, just the standard mutations. We've got extra endurance. Isn't that nice? Let's get started. But here's something that I want to do with a Gatling gun. is um, I'm going to make it fire faster by um, firstly loading bullets into it apparently, but also timing my clicks to actually make it fire faster than we possibly can if we were using this, you know, just holding down the trigger. So just to give you an idea of what this thing does fire like, it's, it's nice and quick, but we can make that actually a little bit faster if we click. And um, I found that just by watching the lag, no, watching the... Um, the cranking of this as soon as it sort of gets to 90 degrees or yeah 90 degrees towards you as it cranks i feel like as soon as you release the trigger you're pretty much right to fire again so none of this burst fire nonsense uh, next super mutant i'll see i'll attempt to uh get him as quick as i can i don't know that's probably negligible but you can squeeze a little bit more dps out of a slower shooting weapon that way which is pretty good but as you can tell against these super mutants really don't need it so damage plus 60%, 341 damage. Yep, pretty good. Yep, this is good. You punched a lot of that armor, so we get more of that damage if we would if we had a bloody Gatling gun with that amount of damage. Stabilize is actually a really goddamn important perk for heavy gunners because, you know, sometimes when your uh, weapons are a high damage, uh, no, a low damage, high rate of fire thing, let's say a Gatling laser, um, you'll find that the super mutants and their high-ish damage resistance compared to other pleb fucking creatures in this game. Um, they're going to soak up a lot of that damage output you can do. This is why I think the Gatling laser is a piece of shit. The Gatling plasma gets away with it, though, because it does have a little bit of a higher damage output. Um, so, yeah, there's no real reason to use a Gatling laser, because if you're using stabilizer at the same time, you'll have your, your power armor and your Gatling laser taking up fuel. But, you know, without that armor penetration, you'll find that the Gatling laser has a lot less damage per shot, just because it's just hitting the brick wall of the enemy's damage resistance, or energy resistance, I suppose. Alright, I want to see if this damage resistance factor of this weapon is actually good, and the reason we aren't taking on the muties right away is because the server left them empty, and this place is full of sleepers. 
No, it's just the one guy. And he teleports around. This is one of those special teleporting ghouls, apparently. He's been trained in the Red Scorpions and the teleporting arts. Um, second to that is only mole rats. Oh, wait, they're all fucking sleepers. Fine. Um, so now we get to test out that... Fucking hell, they're hard to hit. You can only hit them in vats, res you know, reliably, so <laughs> that's always a pain in the ass when they show up. But yeah, it should be an easy, a smooth sailing if we manage to one-shot everything. Ah, sleeper. Fuck, he took two bullets, the bastard. No way he took two bullets. He just resisted that damage. Excuse me, what is it about your hitboxes as a sleeper that makes you... That, that one's sleeping upside down. He, he's showing his private parts at me. No thanks, ghoul. I'd rather not be seeing a fucking corpse. And a quick reload there because we we're running so low on ammo. Come on, ghoulies. Let's see it. Let's see a real response here, eh? And again, I'll be trying to fire this as fast as I possibly can. Looks like I messed up the cadence there because I missed it a little bit. I skipped a few things. Hang on, there's some fucking players here. No. Stop that. Hey, I wonder if they're seeing the sleepers too. I don't think they are. But anyways, regardless of fucking morons showing up to annoy me and spoil my recording, yeah, it does alright. We had a whole bunch of... Wow, he's such a good stealth commander that not even I can see him. Let's see if I can pick a fight with him. I reckon I could kill him. Oh, there's a, ash, a goo pile there. But, yep, with these ghouls, it's alright. I'm gonna have a quick sweep around the place. Maybe I'm just going mad, but I can't... I swear there was a player around somewhere. I heard some suppressed shot. Maybe I'm just going insane. You know, Fallout 76 does that to you. Okay, let's see if we can't get this thing cranking faster than it has before. Yeah, it's firing pretty quick. And Swan is already dead just after his scream. You know, that's not bad. It's not bad DPS from a, a Gatling gun. Usually these things are slow, but if you just sort of click it uh, the right intervals, you can make it fire fast, which is probably exploiting a bug. So um, this account will, pro pro will probably be banned. I should be banned from speaking. You know, I'm feeling kind of bad because I know somebody, you know, gave me this, lended it to me just to um, use for a video, see how good it is and, you know, talk about how good the weapon is and then they, they can have it back and then they'll be happy with it because I said that it's good. You don't, need, you don't need me to tell you it's good, it's a fucking good weapon, alright? But yeah, the, the, the unfortunate thing is I might have been drunk during this stream and I can't remember who actually gave this to me, so uh, will the real arms dealer please stand up? Well, that's fucking annoying. Looks like we'll have to do this again. Alright, so I was gonna c uh, pull the plug on this and apparently that's a rad roach. That was a rad roach apparently, but no, we, we can go right ahead because apparently the, the monsters have decided to spawn... Kind of all at once, just as I was about to say, well, fuck this and leave the server. No, first person. There we go. Let's get some of that damage resistance happening. Where the fuck did that crab come from? Excuse me, could you just fuck off a little? Apparently my... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Alright, so stop hitting me in the face whilst I get this thing up and running again. Because, you know, uh, switching your weapons causes it to do more damage. See, look how much more damage I'm doing now. Always remember to do that on server switches because uh, something about power armor fucks with your perks and whatever allocations you have. Hey, there's a queen. Let's fucking bust her a head in. Alright, at least this time we've got a health bar. Oh, fuck. Okay. That was bad. Let me try that again. Now, I don't want to make too many excuses about why I died there. For the most part, that was my own stupid fault, but it would have been a lot better if I had that extra damage that I was missing out on at the start, Bethesda. So, really, Todd is to blame for it. And I have got nothing wrong with me ever. Nothing is wrong with my playstyle or perk setup ever. So, you can, you can put that thought to bed. Alrighty, so now we're inside this place because uh, we may or may not have spawns. We do not. And there's also some fuck. Ooh, hang on, I got a sledgehammer from that. 
Ah, all of these uh, goo piles. Uh huh. Yeah, right. And there's another one. And okay, looks like we're on. We we've got a spawn here finally. Let's let's start. Let's see if we can actually catch a few super mutants because this game fucking hates me. No, it's the players who do that. I mean, the gamers hates everyone. It says, you know what? If you want to use these energy weapons, not only are we going to make them inferior to their ballistic counterparts. But we're, in fact, going to make them cancel spawns out. Um, the drinking game for fucked spawns is... You don't have to do it if I'm not fucking the spawn, so... You don't worry, but, uh, if you are drinking, so am I, so... <laughs> yay, let's all drink booze, make Fallout 76 better, because... Oh, there's a legendary. Let's see, will this run be redeemed by this? Ow, you shot me in the face with a missile launcher. I'll just walk that one off, because I was aiming. Ooh, it's a bloodied. It is... That's a, that's a good one, but I picked up a missile, so comp- Ooh, that's 20 weight that I had for no reason. Wow, that was just sloppy of me for picking up shit that I fucking don't need. Anyways, we came from that direction, so let's not go back in there. And we'll scoop it on this guy's head, or at least attempt to. And then we'll tap the trigger in a cadence, which will make this thing fire faster than we were holding that down, that trigger down. So there's a little bit of a skill thing with this weapon now. If you can be disciplined enough to... There's an ash pile. Fuck me. And there's another fucking thing. Jesus fucking Christ. This server is fucking rooted now. Like, the entirety of this server is fucked because some fucking dumb idiot asshole, stupid idiot head decided to fucking use either Gatling lasers, let's see, yeah, that might, that might be an alien blast, that looks blue to me, but don't, don't trust everything I say, I'm fucking colorblind, and that is real. Bam, one shot headshot. Very good. Oh, we even got a two star butin glowing hound with the junkies grenade launcher with more bash damage. Now. Yes, that's exactly what you want on a grenade launch. You want to say, yep, I want to be in range to bash enemies. Although you could say that it's for um, bashing stuff that gets too close, so you can back off and drop the grenade on them there. But um, if you already got enemies that close to you, you've already lost with a grenade launch, let's be real. Alright, let's see if these super mutants will actually give me a good old fight here. Not really. You also notice how the, um, compared to the dot on the screen, which does, um, designate where you're actually pointing the thing. Oh, there's another one. Wow, I'd be fucking off me bloody head if I took a shot every time I saw a fuck spawn in here. Ah, yes, perfect time to use that. Yes, yay. That, that extra burst firing there to increase our fire rate working pretty well. Ow. Fuck, did you see how close the health bar was to death just then? That was a little too close. Alright, we're still in danger. Some dumb idiot super mutant is still around here, so let's uh, quickly finish him off. There's another fuck spawn right there. This this is a cursed run of Gunners Plaza, except for that Ultra Sight bloodied thing. Let me just take a look at that. Oh, at least the power armor lets me know when I'm done here. I don't have to check it for myself. Oh, wait, no, then, then there's a fucking other super mutant who showed up. Did you grow out of the goo pile? Should you be spawned here? My power armor said we were done. Okay, we're done now. Let us move on. Alrighty, we're really gonna make some better use out of this thing now. And apparently the super mutants that we didn't find have uh, teleported down here just to annoy me. What was that? Something shot me with an explosive projectile. No, that was just a zombie with a shotgun. I don't know... Maybe I'm just hearing stuff, aren't I? I'm, I've gone mad. I've fucking lost it. Ah, oh, the Scorch Beast is already here. No matter. We'll just start taking him out. No, he's still taking on the Super Mutants. Let's see how good they tank that acid thing. He's barely taking a scratch of damage in that. Oi. Wow, is he chasing around a Scorch Beast with a sledgehammer? Good luck. Good luck, mate. Although, you're not the stupidest one here. I just willingly ran into some fucking acid. Alright, I'm just going to keep firing once he's doing that thing, just so I can get some of those damage resistance bonuses. Now, when it comes to using the Gatling guns against old mate fucking Scorch Beast, you kind of want to just, um... You kind of want to just get that fire rate up by doing this, so it's a good tactic to have. 
Um, that fucking ring dot thing is throwing me off though. And I've got the blight. Well, fuck you too, Mr. Scorch Beast. And I hear a ghoul next to me. What is even happening? Wow, that took ages. Oh my god, there's a fucking conga line of gun zombies after a ghoul. You, you can't make that shit up. You can't make that shit up. Alright, so the power armor seems satisfied, so we see if we can't run in here and get a level 80 spawn. Oh, we can. Let's see. Oh, yes we can. This is the first time this fuck has shown up in a few days. 406 damage on the headshot there, although he's making it quite easy for us, and we get him before he even takes off. And apparently the fucking ghoul gang shows up too. That must have been the ghouls that I missed with uh, goo pile spawns there, so I guess in a way it's evened itself out. They just happen to teleport where I am, which is... Honestly, it's quite suspicious. What's up with that? Alrighty, um, I do hope you saw the first couple of frames of that recording because we were in purple land for a second. The whole atmosphere didn't have the textures. Wait, were you just fighting more crabs? Okay, that's kind of lame, but we'll see what we can scrounge up here. Yeah, that's right. We, we killed that communist crab. Hang on a second. I know this bug. We've been through this too many times for me to not fucking immediately take action, action against it. Oh, it's charred ferals. Okay, we've got some tanky boys here. Excellent. Some challenges. Not not the ghoul, though. He's his fucking squishy asshole. There, his fucking legs got blown off. Hey, Blood Rage Mylurks. I don't know why they're not the level scaling variants or the most powerful variants. I know that this game has a hard-on for glowing things, but Blood Rage Mylurx, they're fucking cool looking. They've got these big old glowing red eyes, they look like fucking Hellgast crabs, fucking cool the designers in Far Harbor, but apparently Gulpers have decided that, yeah, they're, they're gonna be around, they're gonna be tanky, but the poor little Blood Rage Mylurx, no such luck for them. Oh, there's another one. These things are as rare as unicorns. Let's take a look at him, because he looks fucking cool. Look at him! It's the coolest crab you've ever seen! He's all black and red, and he's a cool, sick paint job. I feel so bad for killing these little buggers. But, what? I, I will do what I must, as Obi-Wan says. <laughs> anyway, so there you have it. That was the Gatling gun, anti armor explosive, and some resistance if you decide to aim this thing, which I highly recommend you do, because if you get that firing cadence right, you can actually fire a lot faster than this thing. Let me just see if I can't pull that off. Obviously, all the training of this video would have, uh... I don't really know. That might be negligibly faster, but... That's better, I had four good runs there, but yeah, you can actually make it do a little bit more DPS. So, that's the slow, full auto thing. Yeah, it's a lot faster, so yeah, I wasn't just second guessing myself there. If you'd like to see this thing in your game, boy, you're gonna have to contact the guy who originally gave this to me. Sorry, my drunken ass didn't remember that you actually gave this to me, so be sure to let me know who you are if you want it back. Um, yeah hit me up. If you don't want it back, this will be up for sale. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay tuned if you want this fucking beast of a weapon. It's really good. Trust me.